92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Shawn Michaels with you. And joining me right now, our special guest, Florencia Lozano, who plays DEA agent Claudia Messina on the Netflix hit Narcos, and it's coming out for the second season. Uh, Florencia, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm great. Now, let me ask you, first things first, Claudia Messina is a tough lady. Is there any part of you growing up or, or now that is a part of this woman? Like, in other words, d- do you beat up your friends? Do you kick walls, kick doors, you know, that kind of thing? <laughs> constantly. I am constantly beating up. No. Um, no, but I'm an actor in New York, so you got to be a little bit tough. Uh, <laughs> um I, you know, I, I really appreciated playing someone who, a woman who is not apologetic, who gets to be, gets to be at the big boys' table. That was really fun. Um, and, you know, most of the women I know are pretty fierce. Mm-hmm. I think you have to be in this day and age, you know. Is this the type of thing where you're doing a lot of, like, um, workouts? In other words, they get, are they bringing in a trainer? Are you working with, you know, kickboxing people? I mean, are you, are you constantly working on being, you know, uh, you know a, a person who can kick some butt? Well, you know, I, um, I, I'm in pretty good shape. Um, so I, I continued my, you know, my regimen. And we were filming in Bogota, which is at 10,000 feet. So um, if you're working out there, you're in really good shape because <laughs> so, the altitude is so high. Yeah. Um, so, and the food is really clean there. I mean, it's kind of sad. Once you leave the U.S., you see how our food here is, is so processed. Even, even like even a tomato or an apple, like we have stuff in our soil, unfortunately, that makes food just not as Tasty. It is amazing how, how, how you know, unprocessed other places are compared yeah. to here. Yeah, and so I felt really healthy there. I dropped weight. It was it was weird. It was like immediately I felt I felt you know um, healthier. So for those um, for those who haven't seen uh, Narcos, give us a quick thirty second rundown of of what Narcos is all about because you know a lot of folks are just starting to get Netflix and get you know, these different sure. alternative shows that are available for you out there. So tell us about Narcos. So, I mean, people always ask me, you know, what is the, the you know, what's going to happen on the show or what, you know, you can Google Colombian history and that's basically what the show, uh, the, the events the show followed. We were witnessing the formation of the famed Medellin cartel. There was Jose Rodriguez Gacha, the Ochoa brothers, and last but not least, Pablo Escobar. Before long, the narco's pulling in five billion dollars a year. It is about the rise and fall uh, in these two seasons of Pablo Escobar, who was one of the, I believe, seventh wealthiest, wealthiest men in the world at his at the height of his power. And um, yeah, he was uh, the king of cocaine. And um, the 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 series follows. It's through the eyes of two DEA agents, one in particular, Steve Murphy. And um, if you, you know, want to read a book, uh, the, the series is really based on Mark Bowden's book called Hunting Pablo, uh, which is an excellent book. Um, it takes some artistic license, but it follows the, you know, stranger than fiction events that happen in Colombia during that time. Yeah, pretty uh, much this storyline, this show, is following pretty much kind of the history path that it went into, you know, going after Escobar. Yeah, and it's obviously the U.S. the U.S. involvement, right? The DEA going down to Colombia and um, helping the Colombians um, to, to, to catch this guy and stop him. And season two about to come out. Are we getting all episodes or are we going to get, are, we, are they going to drip it, you know, here and there? All episodes at once, baby. There you all. go. All at once. As an actress, do you like that when somebody says, you know what, Narcos came out? They literally in one day could see your entire season. Um, they can binge watch. Do you like that as an actor, or would you rather them have to stretch it out and wait? That's a really good question. I, I've never had this experience before. Um, I've been on other shows, but, you know, it's a whole new game now with Netflix doing, doing this. I think it's kind of interesting um, because you really get a hit. Of, of what we did. Um, it's like a 10-hour film. Um, 
but it's also a little overwhelming. It's a little like, oh, my God, people t- are telling me they're going to, you know, this weekend they're going to watch the whole thing. Yeah, they'll and do I, a binge watch. Wow, like, wow, that's. That's a lot. You know? <laughs> um, it's exciting. I, I don't really know how to feel about it, to yeah. be honest with you. All right. All right. Well, it's dropping this weekend. Netflix, if you haven't checked it out, what they could do, too, is they could actually they could really binge. If they haven't seen season one, they could do season one on Saturday, uh, season two on Sunday, and then they'll be all caught up and they'll wait another year for you to put more out. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Florencia <laughs> Lozano, thanks so much for being with us. And we look forward to seeing it. Oh, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. You too. Have a good holiday weekend. There you go. If you're looking for something to binge this weekend, Narcos drops on Netflix. Check it out with 92.7 WOBM.